Good morning. I'm standing just inside the west doors into the in the great hall of our church and it's a place that many of you have not been in a few months and i'm standing here to to announce that this coming sunday june the 21st we will be reopening the sanctuary for an 11 a.m service take note not 10 40 11 a.m service we will also still be having our service in the parking lot as we have since march and that service will remain at nine o'clock so the two service times will be nine in the morning, 11 in the morning in the sanctuary. Now you're gonna receive an email, a detailed email and a detailed letter uh, this week that describes some of the changes and some of the measures that we're gonna to have to adhere to in order to open the sanctuary during this time. So I won't go through all of that, but suffice it to say as one disclaimer, if you've got an adverse health condition, please do not attend the 11 o'clock service or any, any activity inside the church building with, with other groups. Uh, or if you're just simply uncomfortable being with groups, uh, please just plan to attend the nine o'clock service as you have been or watch the service on, on online. One thing we want to do make you aware of is that there was only going to be three ways to enter the building. It'll be the west doors, the east doors by the Family Life Center and the Broadway side. All other entrances into the building will be closed, so please don't park on the 13th Street side. These doors will not be available and probably not available in the future either. Okay, come on down the hall and I'm gonna show you some of the things that are gonna change. This Sunday's service and the services until we get a full release from restrictions, there'll be some changes and one of those will have to do with passing of trays for both communion and the tithes and offering collection. When you come through the great hall, as I'm walking through now, you will come to a table before you get to the narthex. And this table will contain, will, will have on it self-contained communion packs uh, that are both the juice and the wafer. You simply tear off the top to get the, the juice and the wafer. And then uh, after the communion, you can dispose of these in the trays in the back of the pews uh, where you would normally put your cups. Pick up a, a, a juice pack and a wafer and take it on into the sanctuary with you because there will be no passing of trays as we've said. Deacons will be standing at the exits with bags in order for you to, uh, to make your, your contributions, your pay your tithes and offerings to the church. As you make your way through the narthex, it's important, do not stop and visit with anyone. We must maintain six foot distancing, so please use the hall and the narthex as a passing area and not a socialization area. You can do your, your visiting outside uh, in the fresh air. Come on into the narthex and when you do, enter any of the doors and follow the instructions of the deacons who will be here to seat you. Every other pew will be closed off. Please do not sit in any of those closed pews. There are signs on the end of, of, of all the closed pews. The seating, uh, just follow the instructions of the deacons and, and you will be fine. Now we're limited on seating in the sanctuary. We're only gonna be able to sit 70 to 80 people uh, based on proper distancing. After we get the sanctuary full, we'll fill up the balcony. When the balcony's full, we'll move into Kirkendall Hall and other rooms of the building and the service will be shown on screens. Um, the um, the worship activities will not look much, much different except for communion where you'll have your own personal container uh, and everything else will look uh, just about the same as you're accustomed to. Well, uh, there will be no passing of the peace so you don't have to worry about um, getting uh, close to somebody or shaking hands and that sort of thing. So I'll tell you, we're, we're, we are, we're just thrilled to be able to get this far right now. And we will be following uh, all reasonable government guidelines when it comes to reopening. And we pray for the day we no longer have to do this. And we can go back to normal with the fellowship and the worship experience that we've all been accustomed to for decades here at First Christian. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you this coming Sunday.